off of the reverse of hammer lock. So we're staying in side mount um, here, okay? Before last Tuesday, I told you to come saw across the neck to come here, because this is how I always learned it, to get this elbow free. To get this, because he, he pushes off here, I collapse his elbow here, right? Mm -hmm. But um, the way I learned it, another way, which is really good, is that um, you come to scar fold. And we, I, I always taught a couple, the year or so that I've been teaching, and um, learn when we ride scar fold, we ride high, okay? Because we want to pin this arm up um, and keep him tight. We're going to ride our scar fold down low, okay? And the reason why we never did this before is because he could push me off and get his legs around my neck and then roll me over, okay? We're going to keep that from happening uh, by attacking the arm, the opposite arm, okay? So once we're here, okay, he's got his frames in. Always, you always want your frames like this on, on the bottom. You come through scar fold. You're laying heavy on his hips, okay? You're holding him tight because even if he tries stripping out, he can't really strip out. All right, so I'm, I'm sitting on his hip. As he pushes my, my chest back to get his legs over, I'm coming over. Thumb is going to be the closest to my chin or neck. Let me grab the wrist, okay? My thumb is to his pinky side. My, my thumb is to his pinky side. My pinky is to his thumb side when I grab. Okay, so you're coming over. You're grabbing here, okay? You're going to twist the wrist. And you're going to drive the arm down. All right, does it feel comfortable? No, all right? So when you do this, guys, don't do thumbs. I don't like thumbs in like this. I kind of like the no thumbs grip. So once you're here, I like the no thumbs grip when I twist or when I hold any type of key lock. Um, you're twisting. You're leaning forward just to get the key lock here, elbow in the head, and you're sitting back, okay? Just from this position, um, it's painful for his wrist and his shoulder and his elbow. Now just adding on to this little bit right here, it's gonna make it worse, all right? Let's say he straightens his arm because we're gonna do two different sequences. This, and he straightens his arm out. He straightens his arm out, okay, keep it, all right? Lean forward, keep the grip. Now from here, you feel like there's a little too much space between you. You're gonna take the knee that's closest to his hip and just go right on knee on belly, and you're gonna sit there. Keep your, knee, keep your elbows pinched, and you're gonna lift up and uh, put the submission on it. All right? So again, we're here, we're riding. Um, he's got his frames in. I want to kick his frames out, but I'm going to stay heavy on his hips to set up the reverse hammer. He pushes away to try to get his legs over. I come across, thumb to pinky side, pinky to thumb side. Twist, palm, you're twisting the hand towards his face, and your palm's facing down to the mat. And you're bringing the hand down to the mat, and you're leaning over, okay? Once you got the key lock, then you settle back, all right? Um, if you try to finish from here, it doesn't work because he strains his arm out. Keep the key lock. Put the knee on the belly. Don't come up like this. You're creating too much space. You just got to bring the knee up. You're pretty much your knee's touching his body the whole time. And he's bringing it up and sliding across. Keeping your toes tucked underneath his back and you're sitting. And you just apply. You want me to see it again? We good? No, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That we're good. Okay. Yeah, we'll go back with Mars.